Hey friends, welcome back to the number one place for social media managers, coaches, and entrepreneurs. I am so excited you're here because today we are going to tackle the four best ways for you to bump up your social media in the last six months of the year. Yes, it's June. We have six more months. Trust me, it's totally doable. And if you follow these four tips, I assure you, you're going to see an increase in follower growth, engagement, and really, that's what the game is about anyway. So, enough talk. Well, actually, we need to talk. <laughs> but enough of that, let's get to it. All right, step number one or tip number one, consistency. This has always been my platform across the board when starting with social media, and it's the number one thing that I beg of my clients and my students to do. Be consistent. I don't care if you post every single day or you post two, three times a week, hopefully minimum three times a week, but be consistent when you do. Stick with the same day, the same time. Be consistent. Whether you realize it or not, and even if your customer, your follower realizes it, they will get attuned to when you should be online and they will start to notice when you're not. And that's the inconsistency part. So if you say you're gonna go live on Thursdays, go live on Thursday. If you're gonna post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If it's going to be at 10 a.m., make sure it's 10 a.m. Consistency is king. This is not a gray area. This is not one of those spots where it's great to be spontaneous and this, that, and the other. Yes, be spontaneous, throw in an extra post, go live spontaneously, do an IG story. But for the, for the main line, you want to stay consistent so that your customers, your followers know when they can count on seeing you. Number two, create shareable posts. Now I love this because you'll realize that in the game of the algorithm, everything is weighted, everything is ranked, right? How many comments, how many likes, how many saves? Now save might be fairly new to you, but if you're on your phone, on Instagram, you'll see in the bottom right hand side, a thing that looks like a flag, so to speak. That is a save button. Now, the cool thing is every single time someone saves a post from you, it like showers you from the algorithm heavens. It weighs so much more than any other engagement tool that they could do <laughs> or use in the case of your post. So truth be told though, this, this is intentional, right? So if you're posting a ton of photos of yourself, depending on your industry, they might get saved a lot. Of course, we know that. But things that really rank high are checklists, recipes, DIYs, tips. If you can create a carousel post, or even if it's just a single post, a single image where you're giving instructions on how to do something, those rank so much higher and people love to save them because they can go back to it later. So number one, be consistent. Number two, create savable, shareable posts that people want to return to again and again. And chances are they're gonna wanna share those as well. We all know someone who will find value in X, Y, and Z, or should know this, that, and the other as well. And so that gives us more opportunity to expand our network and our audience. So number three, consistently be consistent with your brand image. So this is how you show up. How often have you scrolled through your Instagram and you're like, oh, this looks familiar. This looks like so-and-so. And before you even check the name, you already have this idea of whose post it is, who, who what the brand is. That is because they have been consistent in their look, their feel, and their tone. That you don't even have to see their name to know who it's from. You should be the same way in your business. Your followers should be able to be scrolling, scrolling really quickly through their feed and land on something that's from you and know, oh, that's a brandy post, for example. My colors, my font, my theme, my tone, all sounds and comes off the same consistent through everything that I post. If I did an Instagram story, for example, or uh, went live on Instagram, 
something like that, you can still do the same thing. It's all in how you're showing up. So in that case, it would actually be me speaking to camera like this, but my tone, the words I'm using are gonna be the same as you would read in my captions. Number four, final tip. Oh, you know what, let's, let's revisit. Number one, let's create shareable, saleable posts. Number two, be consistent in how many times and days you're showing up consistently for your customer. And number three, your branding. Make sure it also stays consistent on the look and the feel. The last and final point would be varying your content between long and short form. Now, what this really means is that long form content is typically over a thousand characters. Instagram tip for you, Instagram maxes you out at 2,200. Short form is typically a thousand or less. Now, for my engineer types out there, literally a thousand or less characters is considered short form writing. And have more than that is long form and really great if you are a blogger or you write articles or you have longer messages. Depending on your industry, this could be really helpful. But needless to say, it's really great if you can vary it up. Not everyone who follows you wants to read a mini novella, but not everyone also just wants one or two lines. So if you can offer both in your posts, you're gonna go a lot further with your audience. Plus, you're gonna keep them on their toes because this post is gonna be super intentional, super packed with content and facts and figures, everything. And this one is gonna be light and fun. You wanna be able to have both. Nothing's wrong with that. So, four tips for you to grow your social media this year, the last six months. One, be consistent. Two, create shareable, memorable posts. Three, be consistent in your branding. And four, and final, vary it up between long and short form content. And I guarantee you, you're going to see lots okay. of growth in those areas. So, any questions? <laughs> <laughs> you know how to reach me. Shoot me a DM, comment okay. below in the comment section, or shoot me an email. I love to hear from you. I love to hear your aha moments and your feedback. I can't wait to share more with you on this channel, the Passionpreneur series. We have so much more coming up as far as interviews, tips, tricks, resources. I've got a whole